Hi, I'm Matt. This is Brandon. This is our car. His name is Donkey. Got a problem with that? I don't care. Okay. So, yeah. This is the crumple zone, and it's supposed to absorb energy uh, from the crash. This is the compartment where we're keeping our egg, and we have a window in the back right here so that we can easily take it in and out. Our inspiration for this design was our speed car, which used the same kind of curved lines, and it, this compartment right here is supposed to keep the car, the egg, safe from the crash. So, today I was working on the compartment where the egg was going to fit in, which is the occupant compartment, and uh, we found out that with the uh, actual body of the vehicle, it makes it way too tall, so next time I'm going to try to make this a bit shorter. And I created the body of the car. Um, I made it streamlined so and flat here so the c compartment could easily go on here like evenly and next time I'd probably try and make this a little more like not as flappy right here um, and yeah we'll probably glue the wheels somewhere around here and here right there. So today, we glued on the occupant compartment to the base of the body, or the base of the body of the car. Uh, we left the little flat back here so it can, it can easily go in and come out. And today, we did our first test of the car, and as you can see, the crumple zone actually got crumpled a bit. And we weighed it today. Uh, it was 19 grams, and we also added, Brandon also added these, um, Axle housings, wait because we don't want to use our our straw. Today is March 13th, and what we made today was we made our final proto- not final prototype, final car, and this is the body, um, and when it goes down and it hits the wall, when the body's in motion, it goes down hits the wall, um, it impacts the wall, and um, it's the decelerating force makes the front crump- makes the crumple zone crumple, and it uh, absorbs all the energy. Uh, later we are going to be gluing this onto the car, but today, uh, I made the occupant compartment, which is also, which also doubles as the safety cage, and it, it's just going to fit on here like this. Sam and Gabby, how fat, what's the speed? Hi, I'm Matt, this is Brandon, and what we d made before race day, we're just doing this after race day, because we didn't have time, but what we made that day, we made some final touches to the compart occupant compartment, and we test run our car uh, numerous times. During one of the test runs, uh, the car's occupant compartment uh, broke, it bit tore, so I had to use some hot glue to fix that. And one problem we had was we, when we put it on the track, it wouldn't go through the starting area because it was too tall. And then we stretched out a little, but then we, but it does fit. We just had to put it in the right place. 
and we were gonna fix that, but we just didn't have enough time. Matt uh, actually tried to make another car, but we ran out of time, so we couldn't end up doing that. Mm -hmm. As you can see right here, the car is too tall, so it ends up getting start, stuck on the thing that's supposed to start it. So we might have to do some changes there. When it was going down, it had a very consistent speed. When it crashed, um, the crumple zone crumpled, and uh, the egg looked like it would have been it would have been safe if it was in the car. I can't see you. During this run, after some minor readjustments, the occupant compartment no longer got caught on the starter, and it still maintains a, a good speed, but it will be better once we put the egg in. And as you're about to see here, the egg is is not in there, but if it was in there, it might not be as safe because right here it starts to bounce instead of doing what it should. Here it also got caught again, even with the egg in it, and we had to just like scratch, start from back, and and then it worked. So. In this video, we're racing against, I believe it is Sam's group, and he, uh, we took the lead, the early lead, and I'm pretty sure we kept it. And um, in this video, we have our egg in it, so that is, that's the reason why we're winning. Yeah, it's why we're going super fast. Um, and our yeah. crumple zone our, it seems to be pretty crazy. crumbled, and yeah. but it also yeah. is very ineffective because it's pretty broken right now. Um, and yeah, we beat them by a lot. But as you just saw, the, when it hit the wall, the back bounced up, and that's what we're worried that might uh, make the egg break when it hits. And we're gonna try and correct that when we make the full model. As you can see right here, we, after our additions, we still weren't able to get the car to go down with the egg inside. So we had to fix it and make it more stable. And can you see? What? Okay, what are your names and what are your expectations of your car? I'm Matt. I'm Brandon. Uh, this is Don, Don Key. Um, and we think our car will do okay, but when our car hits the ground, it flips up, so that may crack our egg. And also, our car is pretty tall, so it might not like start all the Go time. down the track. Like, when the uh, where are okay. the Today is race day, and the reason why we're not racing anyone is because we had to go last, because when we were actually racing someone, the car got stuck and we basically just had to redo it in front of the starter. It's because the occupant compartment kept getting stuck on the starter, so that was something we weren't able to fix. But also, we are happy that the egg didn't crash. Gabby and Audrey, hurry up so we can run this. Gabby and Audrey, let's go. And then he got 219. So it was 215. It is not cracked. It is not cracked. It is not cracked.